What's up? We've got another video today, streamer stuff. What is this going to be? Episode 2 of Season 3 now? I don't even know how many episodes are made. I think it's into like the 20s now. Well, nearly, at least, anyway. It's pretty crazy, but I'm really loving it. I'm loving doing stuff that obviously people appreciate and help because I um, I struggled with a lot of this stuff when I started out streaming as well. So I feel like it's a, it's a good way of uh, helping people out. And um, I know there's not a lot of YouTube videos, uh, like a lot of YouTube tutorials for some of this stuff. So if I can fill those gaps, then why not? But today... We're going to be talking about the Streamlabs Cloud Bot, which works with multiple platforms. We're going to be talking about the context of Mixer. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it set up and how to start using it on your stream today. So, nice and easy start. All you got to do, okay, you, this, is, this is pretty simple. Just go to streamlabs.com. You see a login bit at the top right just up there. Now, Streamlabs, if you're watching this video, can I just say I'm very disappointed. And it's because you've now made Mixer a little button under there for login. It used to be one of the big buttons up there on the old login screen. And now you put it down there. I'm very disappointed. Mixer's an amazing platform. You need to at least bump it up under Facebook. I understand it's smaller than those three, but put another box in. Look at all this space here. Just put Mixer there. Come on. Okay. Gonna log in. Authenticate. We're in. Beautiful stuff. Now, Streamlabs have been actually going pretty crazy recently with the extra stuff obviously i've got prime on there and you can see we've got we can't see because my things in the way but there's website themes apps there's also a new university bit now where you can run through courses and learn stuff and things it's pretty cool but we're going to be clicking on this one just up here which you can see called cloudbot now cloudbot links to your chat on stream and it can provide very cool moderation themes uh themes things it could do I mean, it's a good way of, for example, if you stream on Xbox and you don't want to run something off of your PC, or if you stream off a mobile and you still want bot functionality as well, or even if you stream off a PC and you just want a cloud bot to do some of your tasks to take the, you know, take the load off your PC, you know, you've got basic mod tools, capital letter protection, so people can't spam in all caps and shout at you in the chat, symbol protection, so they can't go blah, blah, blah. Uh, link protection, uh, so they can't post links like um, to their own stream and servers and stuff, and you've got a permit option, you've also got word protection, if um, you want to restrict like bad words, swear words, paragraph protection to stop people putting essays of things in your chat, emote protection to stop just endless spam of emojis there, uh, they're all easy enough, you just trigger them on like this, and then you can go on preferences, you can customise them to what you want. So you can permit certain types of users, you can set the minimum and maximum, uh, you can set the response to punishment, whether it's a purge, timeout, or ban. Obviously, ban is probably a bit strict for some of these, but um, if they if you do a word protection with the worst words, you could set it to insta-ban people that even dare put that stuff in your chat, if you really want to. Um, it's the same with all of them, you can go into all of them. You've got plenty of customization options, you've got auto-permit for certain roles, uh, the punishment it would dish out. Uh, any warning that could send to the user as well. Um, so yeah, that's the basic, that's like the auto chat moderation. Uh, in modules, you got all sorts of different things. You've got chat alerts, which I've got enabled to tell me if someone donates and subscribes. Uh, donation is obviously through Streamlabs, so it would tell me in the chat, so and so donate to you through Streamlabs. You can enable different chat games, like the heist mini game, gamble mini game, which I got turned off right now because I've got other bots to do those. Slots, 8-ball, Duel is quite a cool one as well. Congratulate the viewers that can build an emote pyramid in your chat. So you got emote pyramids, emote combo. Uh, media share is quite a cool one as well. People can request like images or videos, but it's kind of a dangerous one. Uh, people can request potentially bad ones, and although you can set people to skip them. Um, but yeah, you just got to be careful because there are bad things on YouTube, so it is a bit dangerous um, allowing people to do that. So I personally don't use that one. Uh, but the options there if you really want to do that if you want to risk it go for it Commands you can create custom commands You can also import a lot of these settings from other bots as well If we go into the import you could import straight from your Streamlabs desktop chatbot into cloud or nightbot as well Which I'm gonna do another video on that at some point as well But yeah, you can create custom commands It gives you a list of all the variables that you could use which there are tons on here There is so much that you can do with this cloud bot now I remember when they first released this cloud bot after they released the desktop chat bot um, there was quite a few basic things that you could do, but nothing much, but it just keeps getting better and better So I definitely recommend you keep an eye on this and see if you can use it because it's so useful um, Also top tip up here 
Don't forget to mod it in your chat by just running that command. Don't forget to actually set the bot as a mod, otherwise a lot of these things won't work because it won't have the moderator role. So it won't be able to manage the chat if it's not a mod. So definitely do that. Top tip right there. Thank you, Streamlabs. Uh, you can set timers. So you could do like a countdown timer to the start. You stream a countdown timer to an event that's happening in Fortnite or whatever else, like DLC drop-in or an in-game event. So you can enable timers there. Uh, full quote system. So we got a lot of weird random quotes that people have added on there. Thank you for that. Do we have popcorn, lobster? No, sorry, I ate it all. There you go, quotes right there. So yeah, it's got its own full built-in quote system. Really, really cool. You can set a queue for like users trying to join a game and that sort of stuff. So you could do a join queue. You can pick random users and allow them to join. There's a whole loyalty system built into it now where they earn currency. They can spend that currency on mini games and stuff like that and they can earn more currency from the stream. I personally use this in another bot, but again, this now supports it as well, so why not? You can enable a store, so people can use that currency to buy items in your stream, which is a really cool idea. You can create items, and people can earn currency from watching your streams, and they can get items. Um, obviously, this would be like... Well, let's have a look. You can basically create anything you want. A stream perk, a sound effect, or an access code. So, you could even do it if people want to join your game or join a certain room on Discord or anything like that. They can earn it through the stream, and then they can redeem it through your store. Which is really cool because it encourages people to be in your stream more and engage in your stream more. So it's quite a cool idea. So if you want to try building that up, try out the store. Try out creating a few items, see what people do. Also, you can do polls. This bot can run polls as well. Mixer, obviously, for example, has its own built-in poll system. So you wouldn't really need this, but it has the option if you want to run it through the bot as well. Betting, you can do like spin, steal, all that sort of stuff as well. So you can have better profiles. Now, giveaways is really cool. This is one thing that I really like about Streamlabs CloudBot, and this is one function I use on it. You could do merch giveaways. So you can see I've given away merch here before. And this is examples right here. You could set up giveaways for actual items. You could buy the merch from Streamlabs store and give it away to people on your stream. Now, the amazing thing about this is to redeem it, they log into Streamlabs with their Mixer account. Benefit of that, they have to put in their address and everything. So Streamlabs make it or ship it to them. You don't need to get involved in any of it. You don't need to buy it and ship it to them. You don't need to get anybody's address. They do it all themselves. So it's a really safe and secure way of sending stuff to streamers or viewers, especially if you've got younger viewers in your chat and you don't want to ask them for their address or you would have to speak to their parents or whatever, but they want a merch competition, you can send them merch with this. They just sign up and do it all on there. They don't have to pay anything. They just get sent the item. They just put in their address and boom, they're done. Easy. Amazing system right there. User management. You can add regulars on here as well so they bypass certain restrictions in the mod tools bit. Or like we said earlier, you can import straight from other bots, which is really cool. Now, with Prime, you can actually add an account as a bot account. So if you've got, you make another Mixer account, which is what you want to call your bot, you add it there and the Streamlabs bot on your account gets renamed to that. So you can have custom bot names with this. And with that, you can also customize profile pictures and stuff like that as well, which is really cool. So essentially, this cloud bot is amazing. It does so much more than it used to. And I highly recommend checking out if you're looking for an easy bot. Obviously, the main cloud bots I recommend at the moment are Scotty Bot and this. Obviously, Scotty Bot is done by like a small team of like one or two developers. This has got the backing of Streamlabs behind it, which is a massive company. So um, I definitely recommend checking it out. Give it a try. All you do, go on here, flick the switch at the top, get started, give it a try and see what you think. But yeah, that was Streamlabs Cloud Bot. A very cool bot. Very nice, very new. I say very new, it's been out for like a year now, they've just been building up slowly over time. So if you've not checked it out already, it's a lot better than it used to be. I checked it out when it was first released, it basically did uh, commands and mod tools, and that was pretty much it, just the two tabs right there. But it could do so much more now. So uh, make sure you go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions or if you've got any recommendations or anything you would like to see in a future episode, put it in my Discord, discord.gg forward slash smiler, or let me know in my stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler. I will see you here or in the stream next time.